Sebastian in the Netherlands writes to me, Paul, my question is, is there any difference between XLR cables for just regular balanced XLR in, out, and the AES EBU XLR in and out connectors? I recently bought some Tascam audio recording equipment for uh, private use, and I wondered if I needed special uh, uh, AES EBU certified XLR cables. If so, what's the technical difference between them? Some people say it doesn't matter. Others say it only matters after five meters. Maybe not an audio related question, but what's your opinion on pineapple on pizza? <laughs> ah, you guys kill me. I love it. Uh, I'm not a fan of pineapple on pizza. Um, Donald Duck likes it. I know that. Uh, and um, other people <laughs> like it. I've never been a fan of it, and I do love pizza. Okay, so got that out of the way. AES EBU is the European Broadcast Union and the Audio Engineering Society. They got together and said, here is a standard for digital audio. So in this studio, when we connect anything like our, if we're not going through the network, we'll use AES EBU to connect the digital streams because that is an easy standard. It's really SPDIF, the Sony Philips digital interface. And normally that is done through an RCA connector. AES EBU standard just uses the, the, the dual XLR connector instead. And no, you want to just make sure that you have a cable that works well with digital audio. Not all of them do. So I wouldn't choose an off the shelf audio XLR cable. I would choose one that at least says that it's able to handle digital audio. And a lot of it depends on what kind of digital audio you're doing. I mean, here, when we're running tracks at 11 megahertz per track, we're very careful with what kind of cables we use because that's really high speed stuff. But typically, if you're down in the 96 kilohertz and the 192 where most recording studios are, you can get away with just about any kind of XLR cable without any kind of degradation whatsoever. So you should be okay. I just probably wouldn't pick the cheesiest cable on the planet, but yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Unless you're crazy people like us, lunatics that we have affectionately been called because we record everything at lunatic, <laughs> almost 12 megahertz um, bandwidth or sample rates. So crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I think just about any kind of XLR cable is going to be just fine for you. All right. Thanks for the question. Good luck.